What's up, everybody? It's Mark, Beach Bluff Outdoors. Um, I'm just going to take a quick minute today. Hopefully, this video won't be too long. But I want to talk about some myths about venomous snakes, okay? Uh, I run into this a lot, and I get a lot of questions about it. Sorry, about being in the outdoors. Um, and, and there's a lot of misunderstandings about copperheads and cottonmouths. I don't deal that much with rattlesnakes. Uh, I don't know how much you guys actually have to deal with rattlesnakes. I don't run into them that much. Um, so it's not a, not a huge thing to me, but copperheads are the big one that I hear a lot. I have a lot of copperheads where I hunt and I hear a lot about it. Number one, they smell like cucumbers. No, they don't. I don't know what you folks are smelling when you see a copperhead, but they don't smell like cucumbers. They might musk, and it is extremely stinky, but it don't smell like cucumbers. So that's myth number one. Number two is baby snakes, the baby copperheads, can't control their venom. Not true at all. They can. They can very much so. As a matter of fact, studies now show that as a snake ages into adulthood, the venom even becomes more potent, more toxic. So not to say that juvenile snakes are less venomous, but they, they definitely can control how much they inject um, you know, with each bite. Snakes don't hunt humans, okay? Pit vipers don't. They can't eat you. They have no reason to hunt you. Um, they bite you in self-defense. Okay? Um, Cottonmouths. Cottonmouths are not going to attack you. Generally speaking, every cottonmouth I've ever run up on has been quite docile. They just want away from you. Same with copperheads. Copperheads will just lay still. They don't want anything to do with you. They don't want to deal with you. They just want you to cruise on by and and not even acknowledge they, that they are there. Um, a copper, a, a cottonmouth will usually coil up and open his mouth. That's where they get that name, that cotton white, snow white inside of their mouth. That's their last warning. They're telling you, leave me alone. I'm not playing no more. But guys, the biggest thing we got to remember is we're in their living room. Okay, we're guests into their environment. We can't go killing them just because they're venomous, okay? And another thing, snakes are venomous. They're not poisonous. Uh, they have venom. The venom is toxic. Copperheads and cottonmouths have a hemotoxic venom, which means it's, it does have neurotoxic properties, but it's not predominantly neurotoxic. It, it doesn't attack the neurological system of the body. It attacks the hemo the the blood system of the body prevents clotting and some other things but it's really not about how they work just just guys don't go by this cucumber myth thing that one bothers me and that's going to get people bit okay there's no warning that they're there don't pick them up Watch where you're stepping. Remember, step onto logs or rocks and then step over because they like to lay up underneath stuff. Watch where you put your hands, your feet, your butt, and enjoy the outdoors, guys. And, and let's not hate these snakes just because they're doing what they do, okay? Learn how to identify them. There's plenty of resources online. The two big things that, that I really want to make this video for is Juveniles can, in fact, control their bite. And the whole cucumber myth, and, and I've heard the same scent myth about uh, cottonmouths as well. It's just not true, guys. That's all I got. Remember to hit the subscribe button, click the bell for all notifications of everything we do, and leave me a comment. I'm always open to chat. I love you guys. Thanks for watching.